Okay, we're going to run through a quick demo of what a student will see when they log into Job Ready WBL. I go ahead and log in now. And the first page that you'll see is the schedule. Now you may see one or more experiences if a student is involved in different types of work-based learning activities, you'll see those listed here. So as a student, you will first select the opportunity that you wish to schedule. And then you can click and drag that onto the calendar. And you can adjust the start and end times here if you wish. Or if you're on a PC, you can also adjust the times here and move these things around from day to day. You can toggle the view if you want to see a month view. If you just want to see today or if you want to see the full week. Once you've uh, completed the activity for today, then you would add a description of the work you did. And you want to be descriptive here so that the employer or work-based learning coordinator can approve that activity. But for this demo, I'm just going to put that I did work and save the changes. Depending on your school setup, you may or may not see a submit work log option. If you don't see that, then your work-based learning coordinator uh, will just be approving these individually. Otherwise, there may be a submit work log button. If you see that, then you can click on it, choose the work-based learning experience. And then this will initiate a form which may be sent to an employer or your work-based learning coordinator at your school. Once you've entered descriptions for some of these uh, events, you can select them and then submit. This will initiate a form that you can fill out. And depending on your school, each form may look a little bit different, uh, but you'll first see a, a log of the activities that you selected and the total hours. If you had a pay rate for your particular experience, you'll see a total. And then you would have a form that you can complete and there may be some questions like i said here or you can click to just sign the form so you can put some scribble in here sign this and then once your portion of the form is complete click on submit you also have an option if you want to print out the current document you can do so from here uh, or when the document has been signed by all parties you'll also receive an email with a link to the completed document if for some reason what you see is not accurate, you can click on decline to cancel the form. So we're going to go ahead and submit that. And then you'll see a confirmation that your part has been done and it's been sent on to the next signer of the form. You also may see an alert like the one at the top on the screen here that says you might have some required documents that have not yet been uploaded. You can click on that link or you can click on student documents on the left. And that will take you to a list of any documents that are required for you to complete. So I can see that I've already uploaded my driver's license. Work permit in this case has been marked as not required for me. So I don't have to worry about that but I need proof of auto insurance. So if I click on the, the ellipsis and go to edit, uh, you can see here, I can then upload the files and save those changes. And then that will be submitted onto my work-based learning coordinator. This is also where you can upload pay stubs. So when I click the button, I'll see that I have one that's already been approved and one that's pending approval. I can also submit a new pay stub. I'd first select the work-based learning experience that this is applicable for. And whenever I was paid, so let's say I was paid on Friday. Then lastly, I would upload a document and then add that pay stub. The other options that you see along the left, uh, forms, if I click on that, I can see any forms that I've submitted 
So uh, any of those work logs that were previously submitted can be seen here. And if you click on any of these headings, you can sort them accordingly. So I can see this is the one that I just submitted and it's waiting on my employer to sign. There's also some view options here. If I wanna see all the ones that are waiting on me to complete. So there's some ones that I started in the past that I never signed. Here I have the option. If I click dots to sign this form, that will bring that up and resume where I left off or I can just see anything that I am a signer of, whether it has been completed or not. All right. Next would be the career options. So if there were any articulation agreements that the school has with any post-secondary uh, partners, we could see those here. If I could earn credits at maybe a local community college or some other institution, um, that would show that information here. There is a career exploration that your school may want you to complete. If you've already completed it, you'll see a list of careers that were a match for the survey that you completed. If you already did it, you can click retake self self assessment or otherwise that would initially take you to this screen where you can see a list of different interests. And then for each of these interests, um, you rank whether you strongly dislike or strongly like or somewhere in between for each of these items. Once that's been completed, you would then choose the uh, level of preparation that you're willing to do. So if you don't want to do uh, any or very little preparation after high school, you choose that option. Or if you're willing to do some, um, you know, at least would have to have a high school diploma and possibly some uh, post-secondary education, some college classes, you could choose that. You'll see those options here. If you're willing to do a lot of schooling, you can choose that as an option and then you'll get the results that are applicable for what you've chosen. For each of these results, you can click on them to see more information. So a detective or criminal investigator, if I wanted to learn more about that, I can watch the video here, or I can click this link to see more detailed information. So I can get an idea of what, um, what a criminal investigator does, some different job titles that might be similar, and tasks, technology, knowledge, skills, or abilities that uh, may be applicable for this type of job. And then lastly, towards the bottom, we'll see any education requirements or any wage uh, outlook data. So we can get an idea of what the typical hourly rate is or um, annual wages. And then for this particular job, there's job outlook of below average. So that means that you know, there are less of these opportunities coming up in the future. So that may be something you want to look at to consider uh, whether this is a good career choice or not. Finally, I can go to occupations and this will show any occupations that are specific to the CTE program that I'm in. So this particular student is in welding. So these are the occupations that a welder might choose. And then I can learn the differences between those um, by clicking on those links.